Okay, so this one says dimethylamine, uh, CH32NH, it has a KD of 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. What is the pH, so that's what I want you to find, of a 1.5 molar solution of dimethylamine? Okay, so that's all the information the problem gives you. So from this, you're going to have to figure out what the reaction equation is, okay? So, first thing, let's write that reaction equation. Hopefully you guys can do this on your own. This is, I think they're moving desks upstairs. So, what did we say? Well, because we're invoking the 5% rule, 1.5 minus x equals 1.5, okay? So we can do that. We have the KB here. So, we've got x here, x here, 1.5 here, okay? So let's rearrange this thing. So, x times x equals x squared. That equals kb times the concentration of dimethylamine. So I 
get three point zero times ten to the one negative one to the negative two um, or x, and that's molarity, right? So remember x is going to equal this and this. So it equals the concentration of OH minus, and also the concentration of the protonated methyl. Okay. Is everybody okay with that stuff? Okay. Well. So, um, what are we looking for? I forget. Okay, pH, right? Okay. So pH. Well, we can either use this to get our POH, right, and then subtract that from 14, or we can use that directly with KW, okay? So, um, can I erase this part over here? Well, why, can I erase this whole ice table? That would give me enough room. Is everybody okay with that? As you might imagine, this would be very high on the OH, right? So it's going to be very low on the H3O plus. Is everybody okay with thinking like that? Okay, so from that we get, remember, the pH equals the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. Okay, so pH is going to equal of 3.4 times 10 to the negative 13. So, just like how we did the ice tables for the weak acids, we can do them for the weak base, okay? Just remember, when we do it for the weak base, we're getting OH minus, and from there, that's how we're getting our pH. We've got to uh, turn it around to H3O plus, okay? So, is this a basic solution? This would be a basic solution, yeah. Let's think about that, right? So, if you're... OH concentration is bigger than your H3O plus concentration, then that's a basic solution. I should get you KW. Um, that's something you want to remember. KW is always that, it's that constant, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So yeah, this is a basic solution because this is smaller and this is It doesn't matter how you get the pH number as long as you 
can get the same because I got 12. Yeah, you could go. Right yeah, you could go the other way. I, I, yeah, I got the go D O H and, and then go the other way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just prefer to do it this way. I don't know. It's my own. Does it help for more complicated problems just to stick with that? No, I mean I I just stick with this because this is the way I like to do it. But D O H works just fine. Okay. Uh, in fact, as you saw, you know, you can get the same answer. And it's okay to do it either way. Yeah, I think that you got it best, really. Okay. Any other questions? Okay.